Hi everyone, this is HMNS video number 12 and you are most welcome for it. Last video we talked about all these Excel errors. We even talked about how they can come about and we even gave a good enough example that can let you know what exactly always bring those errors. In this video we want to see two fixes. Now let's switch on to it and we see these two fixes. One of the error we talked about last video is the NA error. Now this NA means not available. One of the example we gave last video was the VLOOKUP function equals to VL tab. The lookup value is this value here, comma. The table array is this entire table, F4 to lock it, and then comma. The column index number, what we want to return is the amount, and it's in the second column in the table where we're looking up these values from. Here is one and two, so we are going to put two here, and then comma, exact match tab, close parenthesis, control enter, let's copy it down. So we got the NA error here, reason being we are trying to look up the amount for a kilo, and when you check in this table, there is no a kilo in the table, that's why it's bringing us the NA error. There is actually a way you can amend your formula so that it doesn't return the error in case it did not find the match in the table. And the function that can help you to do that is the function called the if NA. Now the if NA, let me first escape. The if NA error is a function that is used to check only if there is an NA error. Now if I'm to click in this cell, then I do equals to if NA. When I hit tab to select it, it has two arguments. The first argument is the value argument, as you can see. And the second one is the value if n s. So you put your formula in the value argument from the if n a argument. You specify what you want to be returned in case n a. So I'm going to hit escape. Now come to this formula now. Hit the F2 key to put it in edit mode. Then at the beginning of the VLOOKUP function, I'm going to put if n a tab. Now we want to return something instead of n a. So in the value argument, is going to be the entire VLOOKUP function. That's what we want to put in the value argument. Now, if the VLOOKUP returns for us the NA error, what do we want to put there instead of the NA error? Now, anytime you're putting a text in formula, you need to put it in double quote. So let's see, double quote. Now, we want to put nothing in that cell instead of NA. So you, put, you simply put there two double quotes without anything. By the way, if you put a space, it will return for you a space in that cell. So we want to put nothing completely. So you put that double quote, double quote. Then you come at the end, you close your bracket. Then when you hit control, enter. Now let's copy our formula down and we see what it brings. So if I click on this cell, which is looking like an empty cell, then I put it in edit mode. You can see that the formula is also sitting there, but instead of giving us the NA error, it's showing nothing. So in most cases, that's what very many companies want you to do. Now, let me scroll to the right here. When I come here and hit the F2 key, there's actually another function that is used also to check for errors. This time around, it's not only specific for any error, but it checks all the errors, almost all the errors we saw last video. You can amend them using this function here. It's called if error. Tab to select it. It also has two arguments, the value argument where you put your formula or your function and then the value if error. All our VLOOKUP function is sitting at the value argument and then at the end you put comma, value if error, let's put double quote, double quote, then you close parenthesis or close bracket, control enter. When I copy my formula down, come to this cell which is looking like it's empty and you hit the F2 key, you can see that the formula is sitting there. Those are the two ways. You can get rid of showing those NA errors. Assuming instead of showing nothing in this cell, you want to put there something like, for example, not in the list. That one is also possible. If I come to this cell and hit the F2 key, come at the beginning of VLOOKUP, then I put if NA tab to select it. The value here is having all our VLOOKUP function. And then comma. In the value if NA, I'm going to put there. Any time you're putting a text in a formula, you put it in double quotes. So I'm going to put not in the list. Then I close my quotation, close parenthesis, control enter, copy my formula down. 
you can see that instead of any error I'm seeing, not in the list. There are situations where you might need to type whatever you want to display instead of any error somewhere in your cell and then you refer to it using a cell reference instead of typing it in the formula. That one is also possible. Let's see how you can do it. F2 to put it in edit mode. At the beginning, I'm going to use if and a tab to select it. In the value of argument, that's where our VLOOKUP function is sitting. And then comma. In the value if and a, that's where you click. Now remember, you can only put it in double quotes if you are typing it in your formula. If you're referring to it using a cell reference, you don't need to put it in double quotes. You simply need to click on it. Then if you are copying it down, you need to hit the F4 key to lock it. And then you close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. At least this table now looks a little bit cleaner than when it was serving the NA error. Now let's scroll down a bit. This is also one of the examples we saw last video showing the list of books purchased in first and second quarter of 2024. Now here we were looking for the cost per book. If I put it in edit mode using the F2 key, you can see that we are getting the cost per book. Dividing the cost, total cost that is in C, SATA 8, divided by quantity, which is in B, SATA 8. That was a relative cell reference. If I control enter, you can see that there are situations where we got a divide by zero error. The reason being, it was dividing empty cell, and empty cell is always seen as zeros in formulas. Here, it was just referring to these cells here. So now you can use the same method here. Come at the beginning and use if error. In the value argument, that's where our formula is sitting. And then comma, value if error, you can put double quote, double quote. Close parenthesis, control enter, copy it down. You can see that instead of divide by zero error, I'm getting an empty cell. Also in the cell that is looking like it's empty if I hit the F2 key. The formula is sitting there, but it is showing nothing. Now let's scroll down a bit. Come here. If error tab to select it, comma, you type in double quote, no patches. Close quotation, close parenthesis, control enter, copy it down. I'm getting no patches here, no patches here. It has even calculate average now. Now just to show you that if error works in all the errors, let's see one more example here. We are getting main sale, which is D59 minus april sales in all these cells here and here we got a value error if i put it in edit mode reason being you cannot subtract a text from a number we want to come at the beginning put there if error top come at the end comma value if error in double quotes we can put there no sales close quotation close parenthesis control enter when i copy it down now in conclusion First of all, do not fear errors in Excel. Always try hard not to make errors, but do not fear them. And then secondly, do not leave your table with errors like a NA error or the divide by zero error or the value error. Let your table be neat. Replace them with something that makes more sense and it's easier to understand. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Until next video, and then we meet again. Thank you very much.